What's up, 12 Nation? You're on the Hawk Alert. I'm your host, Sahil Kapoor. Just finished watching, watching the Washington versus Seattle game. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into this one. All right. So before we start, this is a Seattle Seahawks channel, but I'm also a Seattle sports fan. I'm a big fan of the Seattle Mariners. And I have a bit of a question for, you know, Seattle sports fans. I mean, five-year, 115 million. Robbie Ray, the Cy Young, is coming to Seattle. You know, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Now, that's today's question for you guys. So, yeah, let's get into this. So, Seattle lost 17-15, to 15 and, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a tough game. And I feel like the first quarter, it was great, you know. I thought this game was being set up for success, you know. It was seven to three, first quarter, and Gerald Everett. I mean, Tyler Lockett had that great, like you know, fifty yard snag, and then Gerald Everett touchdown. I'm like, okay, yeah, so, you know, offense is back. You know, Russ is cooking, and then after that, okay, uh, you know, get that Washington gets a touchdown, J.D. McKissick, right, and then you know, I was like, blocked, uh, Pat return nine nine. And then we shortly find out that I believe that Joey Sly is the Redskins kicker. I mean, a football team's kicker. And he got hurt, I believe, right? So they didn't have a kicker. And what happened was they scored another touchdown, J.D. McKissick, up the gut, you know, about 10-yard run for a touchdown. And they go for two because, you know, they don't have a kicker and they didn't trust Tressway, their punter, to make the kick. So they go for two. Now they're up by eight. And in your head, you know, there's a lot of time left. I believe I believe there was like – they scored in the in the third quarter, I believe. So they had, there was a lot of time to score. You know, I was like, okay, yeah, Seattle definitely has this. You know, offense hasn't clicked since the first, but I think Seattle can get something going. And it's just countless three and outs. Like every single – like possession it feels like that and a crazy stat was Washington out like numbered the Seahawks in possession by 20 minutes so I mean they were doing a great job of holding on to the football and Seattle was you know throwing up I mean Russ Russ's decision making was like very bad today and I mean a lot of things just went wrong but then okay Russell Wilson he does what he does right I mean, best – I mean, if you need a touchdown in the fourth quarter in today's era, there's no other person to call except Russell Wilson. I mean, Tom Brady, but he's so good in the last two minutes. He knows what he's doing. Like, he likes the, like, the pressure on him. He likes to be in those situations. He performs, like, really well. And what a great drive, right? 96 yards, you know, set in just great passes. And I was a bit frustrated, right? I mean, Russ wasn't throwing out of bounds. And then he took that, you know, sack. I was like second and 19. And I was like, this game's over. You know, it just, Russ didn't even look interested. It felt like, I mean, like usually I have to look something like that happened is, you know, a few seasons ago, you, Russ would be like pumped up. He would try to get the offense going. But like after that sack, he just looked like so, just so like sad. I mean, it would just, the, the his face was just, it was it was sad to see. I mean, he just like he stood there and he like like looked, and it was a very like weird look. And it felt like Russell Wilson wasn't you know enjoying playing for the Seattle Seahawks, and that's the big feeling I got. He just looked like his face just gave off this you know feeling that I don't want to be here anymore. And a lot of Seahawks fans don't want Russell Wilson here either. Uh, I mean, everyone loved that drive, you know, like 30 seconds to go, finally finds DK. I mean, we have a lot of things to talk about, but I mean, let's just get to this DK like issue. I mean, four targets, I believe. Right. And I mean, one reception, he's easily a top 15 receiver. And for Russell Wilson to only find him once. And that one time was 62 seconds remaining. I mean, just. He's, a, he's such a good receiver to be, like, wasted. Geno Smith was using using him, like, very well. I mean, 
We saw that touchdown against the Saints. I mean, that was an 80-yard touchdown against Jacksonville. You know, he had that little moss in the end zone. Even like Geno Smith was using DK better than Russ is using DK right now. And that's a big issue because DK is the best wide receiver on this team. I mean, you could say Tyler Lockett, Tyler Lockett's chemistry with Russ, but DK talent wise is the best on this team. And Russ is having issues finding DK. And it's almost like we saw it last year in the playoffs, DK Metcalf. He was so frustrated with Russ after Russ didn't find him on a wide open touchdown. And it just feels like that energy's coming back. DK doesn't want to play with Russ anymore. But at the end of the day, they're still teammates. They're still brothers. But, like, it just feels like – sorry about that. It just feels like this team is slowly falling apart. And that is, like, the big issue because this team has so much talent and can't get anything to click, like, this season. I mean, first game of the season, I thought this was about to be, like, a Super Bowl run. The way they played against Indianapolis, I was like, all right, let's go. This is going to be a great season. You know, got great got great players in the free agency, got Kerry Hyder. I mean, all these players drafted, you know, Stone Forsyth, Trey Brown, D. Eskridge. And I was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we're going to have a great season. And what happens is sitting at 3-8, and eight, fifth, fourth worst team in the league, the Jets are better than the Seahawks. and playoffs is it's not happening and where 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 did the Seahawks go from here right I mean three and eight fourth worst team in the league don't have your first round pick what what are you doing and like we said in the last two episodes it's it's time Seattle fans it's time to trade Russell Wilson it's unfortunate but the time has come where it's time for Russell Wilson to say goodbye to Seattle. He doesn't look like he wants to play there. Seattle fans don't want him. Feels like receiver DK Metcalf especially is upset with him. It just feels like it's, it's, it's not clicking. It's time to move on. It's time to rebuild. Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll, both be out of there at the end of the season, in my opinion. I think it's time for a fresh rebuild, trade him for some picks, get a good, young, decent player, uh, and start the rebuild. That's really all I can say right now. I mean, after watching this game, there's so much that went wrong. The defense played great, in my opinion. 17 points is very, very good. I mean, only allowing 17 points, Seahawks should have definitely, you know, at least, you know, sent this one to overtime. I mean, I mean, Russ did a great job, do that 30-yard touchdown of Freddie Swain, but then on the two-point conversion, you have DK Metcalf wide open in the right side of the corner. I mean, like, just got to find these wide-open balls, Russ. Just, I mean, he's, he's wide open, dude. But, you know, it's frustrating as a Seahawks fan. You know, it's it's time, I believe, to say goodbye to Russell Wilson and time to say goodbye to Pete Carroll. The rebuild is on the way, in my opinion. I we're gonna have a bit of a, a a bit of a fun video coming up soon. I mean, I'm I'm very big on this topic, Russell Wilson being traded, and we're gonna have a little topic. You know, we're gonna be putting Russell Wilson on four teams in Madden. And we're going to start them from the start of the 2022 season. Actually, no, no, we're going to start with them with at the start of the 2021 season with like no picks, nothing like that. And we're going to see how they did. Obviously, Russ won't be injured, but we're going to put them on the Dolphins, the Saints, the, fo- the football team, and the Bears. And we're going to see who did the best because I believe, in my opinion, all those teams would be way better with Russell Wilson than the Seahawks are, are right now. And I don't think it's Russell Wilson's decision-making. I think it's just something's going on inside that locker room that's preventing Russell Wilson from being the player he's been for the last eight years. I think something's going on preventing Pete Carroll from just doing what he's doing. There's it, It's something that's going on, and this, this team is just not the same. And unfortunately, like I said, it's time to say goodbye. Uh, peace and out, Seahawks fans. I'll see you. 
Tuesday. Uh, this video, you'll be seeing this on Monday morning. This will be posted Monday morning, but I will see you guys either Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll have a bit of a discussion, you know, you know, weekly discussion. Make sure to follow the Twitter and Instagram so you know when the newest videos are coming out. And then also, if you'd like the Seahawks, make sure to subscribe. We talk Seattle sports here. Peace and off. Soccer 4.